Hey there, it's John Dorn at Backpacker Magazine. We're going to talk a little bit right now about how to make great baked treats in your Outback oven. This is one of my favorite cooking utensils. This is a brand new shiny one. I can't wait to get out and use, use it. My old one's all beat up because I've used it so often. Now, there, there are in the store a lot of mixes by the Backpacker's Pantry and Traveling Light. That, they're just great, ready to go, very easy. Just rip off the top, add some water, mix it up, and throw it in. But but if you can't get to the camping store, there's a lot of stuff in your in your supermarket that will work really well too. My kids love those cinnamon buns that come in the tubes. They also love when I make uh, chocolate chip cookies, the slice and bake kind. But you can find lots of stuff. Here's a pie crust that's just add water. A lot of other muffin, brownie, uh, quiche, and and, and uh, other baking mixes that are add water only that are really easy. One tip, one thing that we always do is we take it out of the packaging so we're not carrying around all this cardboard, stuff it in a Ziploc, and then I'll take you know, a Sharpie and write on the outside of the bag, you know, okay, muffins, I need to add one cup of water. That's all I need for the directions on this particular recipe. Now when I get to camp, all I have to do is open up the Ziploc, throw the water in, I'll mix it up with my hands, just knead it a little bit, and then I'll take my knife and cut off a corner of the bag, and I can just squeeze the mix right out into the pan. Now, when you're cooking, I really like to use a stove like this Snow Peak, a canister stove that has a remote fuel, uh, 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 fuel tank on it. There are a couple reasons for that. One is, if you have a canister stove where the burner sits right on top of the canister, you can run into the problem of a lot of heat reflecting back down on the canister from underneath the outback oven. That can cause the canister to heat up and for the flame to get really hot and in, and in the worst case scenario the canister can blow up. So there's a safety issue there. I also like the canister stove because it's got excellent flame control. It's a little bit harder with a lot of white gas stoves to get the fine simmer that you need in order to keep the outback oven baking at just the right temperature. Now you see we've already got this set up. We've got the thermometer on top already. We'll show you that in a minute. But when you're going to cook something, you've got your mix inside the outback oven. You want to center, oops, I've actually got this upside down here. You want to center this heat exchanger, or diffuser actually, it's going to make sure that the heat comes up around the oven rather than hitting it right in the center and scorching whatever's in the pan. The pan's going to go right on top here, and then the hood goes over the whole contraption. You see there's a hole here so you can see the thermometer while you're cooking. Now it's important to get this centered. You can see, or maybe you can't hear, I don't have it centered very well. If I were to put the hood on, what might happen is that the hood would get singed back here where it's a little bit too close to the flame. So take a good careful look when you're putting the hood on, when you're putting the, the stove on, that you've got it centered. Now the thermometer is a really key part of a successful baked good in the out, Outback oven. You can see here that it's a simple dial, the red finger moves around and it's got three settings, warm up, bake, and burn. It generally takes about five to eight minutes once you have the stove heated up for that dial to move from warm up to bake. That's when you really need to start watching your flame control to make sure that it doesn't flip over into the burn. Check it every couple of minutes, make sure it stays in bake. That's the best way to ensure that you're going to get a golden brown pan of muffins rather than a burnt one. One other tip, just as a watch pot never boils, a watched Outback oven never bakes. So re restrain yourself. Don't pull that hood off and pull the top off every five minutes or so. Things are going to take 20, 25 minutes. At altitude, they can even take longer. So really wait. You'll smell it when it's done. And then finally, after 20 minutes or so, pull it off, check it with your fork, look underneath to make sure it's not scorching. There are some things like cinnamon buns that you might actually want to flip about halfway through. But keep the lid on as long as you can because that will really improve the baking. So good luck with it out there. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do.